A flight from Seoul, South Korea crashes while landing at San Francisco's International Airport this morning, while dozens have reportedly been treated for serious injuries. NBC 5's Roma Viacencio has been following the story since it broke this morning and joins us live with more. Roma. Thanks, Kyle. Asiana Airlines Flight 214 crashed and burned today while landing at the San Francisco International Airport. Plumes of smoke billowed out of the roof of the Boeing 777 after the plane landed on the tarmac. Witnesses say parts of the plane were breaking off at touchdown. The aircraft rocked and then began to spin. Right when it started to coast, like for the landing, all of a sudden the engine was off. <laughs> like he sped up all kinds, like he pilot knew he was short. And then just boom, the back end just hits and flies up in the air and everybody's head goes up to the ceiling. And then it just kind of uh, drifts for a little bit, probably a good 300 yards, and then tips over, fire starts, everybody's, you know, pushing the doors out. The latest report from officials says that 291 passengers were on board. Two people have died in the crash. At least 82 passengers have been transported to area hospitals and 60 people are still unaccounted for. At this hour, investigators are searching for answers, but a national security official says there are no signs of terrorism. Back here in Medford, all flights to and from San Francisco have been canceled for the day. I talked to travelers and some were frustrated, while others just want to know when their next flight will be. I'm going to have to queue with these good people. Uh, I'll probably be here for another couple of hours at least, and then see what they can do about scheduling us out in a couple of hours and what they're going to compensate us with. Scared, nervous, didn't know what was going on. But now they got us, uh, rebooked us for tomorrow. And we fly out at 6 o'clock in the morning. United, Air United Airlines staff were busy trying to help each customer, but some folks had to call United Airlines themselves. Now, travelers I spoke with said even though they